It is 40 days to Kenya's next general election. Time to audit the current government. Our key focus, we have laid a foundation. We want to continue building on that foundation. And on that foundation, the principal objective is jobs for our young people. Jobs, 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 jobs. And make fresh promises. Yes. In this year's program, we've said we are going to double the subsidy. We're going to make fertilizer even cheaper from 1,800. We're now going to take it down to 1,200. That means more farmers can afford to buy fertilizer. We can increase production. All in a bid to woo the 19.6 million registered voters. The elections come during a period of tough economic times for Kenya, marked by job losses, high cost of living and food prices, and high level corruption. Some of Kenya's administration's achievements include the completion of the standard gauge railway running from Mombasa to Nairobi, currently East Africa's biggest infrastructural project, reforms in the health insurance fund, and the decentralization of government services, as well as electrification. Who best to judge their performance than the voter? The Jubilee will deliver what they say. The current government has really failed in dealing with the corruption. I would say that because personally, I am a beneficiary of electricity. It came and it used to cost millions. And uh, I wouldn't say, and the roads, of course, I've seen the flyovers and what have you. The opposition promised to fight corruption, address historical injustices, create employment, ensure food security, and reduce high rates of dropouts in schools. Ensure that all NASA leaders, and this is in one of the pillars, seven pillars of our coalition agreement, will sign an agreement that he will not do business with the government. NASA will, be, will uh, always support business-friendly initiatives. 51% of the country's registered voters are youth. It is this key population that the candidates targeted in their campaign plans. The voters' view on the pledges may differ, but they seem to agree on one thing. There is no meaning in these manifestos because they are never, they are never fulfilled. When it comes to implementation, is where we have a lot of problems right from 1963 when this country got in, in its independence. Kenya goes to the polls on August the 8th. President Kenyatta is seeking his second and final term, while former Prime Minister Raila Odinga is running for the fourth and final time. Sarah Kemani, SABC News, Kenya.